Hello, my name is Kevin Yanikowski, and this episode is on understanding the mind. This episode will not be comprehensive. It will only go over terms I haven't hit in other episodes. So without further ado, let's start with the first school of psychology, which began with Wilhelm Wundt, considered the father of psychology, and Edward Titchener, Wundt's student, and the creation of structuralism. Structuralism seeks to understand the mind by breaking it down into simple components, similar to the modular view of the brain discussed in another cognitive episode. Structuralism hopes to determine how they will work together to make a more complex whole. So then what's the assumption of structuralism? The assumption is that the whole is just the sum of its parts. In contrast, functionalism by William James would rightly follow. James's functionalism argued that to understand the mind, we should instead study the functions of the brain, like consciousness, not the structural elements. James argued components cannot be simply studied as easily as structuralism hopes. This closely relates to positivism. Positivism simply states that we should only scientifically measure what is measurable. That is to say, to be positive about something, we need to be able to measure it. However, there is also anti-positivism. What could anti-positivists be arguing? Anti-positivists argue that society, and possibly other scientific categories, may not be studyable using the same methods that we use in other scientific realms, like positivism wants to assume. Now, how about the cognitive approach to understanding the mind? Well, the cognitive approach thinks of cognition as having laws that govern all of our minds, so focusing away from the individual. Cognitive psychologists build multiple models of cognition, just like the ones in the learning episodes, because they believe that in order to understand the mind, we need to understand how we think, solve problems, learn, etc. There are multiple perspectives here, and each may be therapeutically beneficial in some sort of way. Or it could be beneficial to use aspects of multiple approaches, an eclectic approach to therapy per se, because eclectic means from multiple perspectives. I said this episode would be short. We touched on structuralism, functionalism, positivism, and cognitive approach to understanding the mind, and that's all.